All right, here we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to another video. It's your boy. And today I have another one of these videos for you. Another one of these story times. I hope you guys are enjoying them. If you are, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment. I don't really care. Do what you gotta do with your life. I'm not gonna obligate you to do something that you don't wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Today's video is sponsored by nobody except myself. Listen, this is took place in high school and it's not as crazy as what happened before like that was a story that geez yikes I'm still getting over it <laughs> this was a story that took place in high school I want to say I was like a sophomore maybe like a, a freshman probably a sophomore I'm pretty sure at this point in my life I wasn't trying to like academically challenge myself all right I was dealing with other things that I was just like you know what I don't really give a shit about like extra classes right now so I was like I'm gonna take a class that I can get an easy A in, and that'll be that. So I chose a Spanish course being a Spanish speaker. I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm, I was a perfect Spanish speaking person, but I definitely understood, spoke, wrote, and read all of that well enough to like, be able to easily pass a Spanish one, two, and even a three course, you know? So I was like, I'ma just get an easy A. Like, you know what, like, <laughs> you know what, I'm not trying to do too much. I take this course, and the teacher that we have in this course, we'll call her Miss Crispy. So Miss Crispy was a Spanish, I wanna say she was like Colombian. Or maybe she was Puerto Rican, or I don't know. Miss Crispy was a Spanish speaking teacher that had been around for many years. And I had heard many stories of her that she was a strict teacher, that she was a nice teacher. Like I heard mixed reviews about her. So I was just like, hmm, you know? So I wasn't sure how to act in this woman's class. And I was a little bit nervous. I remember that I was really quiet in her class and I didn't really speak a lot. So the first few days that we were interacting in the class, um, I wasn't the student to like raise my hand like oh my gosh like I have I have the answer. You no, know, I was just kind of chilling there like it wasn't the first week we started school. We had switched over to our other classes for like the second half of the semester. So she was my new semester teacher. And after meeting her, I was like, okay, whatever, cool. I'll do your homework and I'll pass your class easily with an A. I remember that I had this friend and we'll call her, we'll call her Cherry. All right. So my friend Cherry, who I was really close to, had a grandmother who also worked at the school. She happened to be a substitute teacher that would substitute for other Spanish classes. So I knew her her I knew her grandmother I had had her as a substitute before we had had many conversations before she knew that I was fluent in Spanish so I remember Cherry and I we decide after school one day we're like you know what we're hungry we're gonna go get some Mexican food like let's go get some Mexican food and of course at this time like we were a bunch of sophomores like we weren't driving we didn't have cars for ourselves we had to hitch a ride and we hitched a ride with her grandmother who also was a substitute Spanish teacher at the school we get to this restaurant and so I guess all the teachers were having like some sort of meeting at this restaurant and her grandmother was part of that meeting so we got ourselves like a separate little booth at this mexican restaurant so i remember cherry and i were just chilling here we're having our lunch and we're eating and we're talking halfway through our conversation right her grandmother comes up and so she's just checking up on us and she's like hey how you guys doing how's everything here we're pretty much like yeah everything's good the food's good the drinks are good even though it's non-alcoholic but it's okay as we are speaking I see that my Spanish teacher, Miss Crispy, is also there. She notices me sitting at this booth with Cherry and speaking to her grandmother, the other substitute teacher. You know, I, I guess they were close or whatever, close enough to the point where she felt comfortable enough to walk up to us. So Miss Crispy approaches us and I'm sitting at the booth with Cherry and then the grandmother is standing there and so is Miss Crispy. So it's the four of us and Miss Crispy is like, oh, hi, how are you? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. So we have like a little bullshit ass conversation. Like, oh my God, how was your day? And then I remember that Miss Crispy turns over to Cherry and she has a conversation with her, you know, just like saying hi. And then this woman turns over to the grandmother and starts speaking in Spanish. It was just so crazy because you just never know. Like, that's why. That's why when people speak Spanish in front of other people and they're talking about other people, I'm just like... You just never know. Alright, so Miss Crispy is talking to Cherry's grandmother, right? And she starts telling her in Spanish 
how much of a disgrace I am because my parents did not teach me our native language. And then she starts saying how it's a complete embarrassment about how all these parents, just like my parents, aren't raising their kids right. They're not teaching them the right morals at home. And I remember I'm literally just sitting there and I look at Cherry because Cherry and I and her grandmother knew damn well that I spoke very well Spanish. Well, I'm not gonna say very well, but I knew Spanish well enough to the point that I could have a conversation with you. I remember Cherry and I just looking at each other like, and this woman was so confidently going off. I was just letting her. I was like, wow, okay. Cherry's grandmother literally just looks at this woman and she's like, what? You know Ishmael can speak Spanish, right? Listen, Miss Crispy was a very pale woman as it was already like her complexion was very light like she wasn't she wasn't a dark skinned latina like, like she could very well look white this woman's face turned so red she looked like a tomato she looks at me and i just smile and she's like and i'm like see yo puedo hablar español yo lo entiendo bien lo puedo leer lo puedo escribir si yo puedo hablar español Suddenly, she like shifts the whole conversation and she's like, Oh, bueno, por qué estás tomando un Spanish two class? Why are you not taking a Spanish for native speakers? It's going off on me. And I'm like, damn, woman. I was just trying to get an easy A to pass. Like, what the f So after that day, this woman treated me so different. Like, she was overly nice to me. Like, every single time I would walk into this woman's classroom, if I forgot to do my homework or some shit, like... <laughs> It was just crazy. Ever since that experience, you know, I just, I realized that you, you never know. So when you're speaking in your native tongue, I, I get it. We have every right to, but when we're talking about other people, I feel like that is highly, highly disrespectful. And... <laughs> And look what happens. Save yourself an embarrassment. Just be careful what you say when you're around people because eventually she made me take Spanish for native speakers, which I didn't even know was a course. So I have to say thank you, Miss Crispy, for that because I didn't even know that that was really a course. Class was well, like she was a good teacher. You know, she wasn't a horrible teacher or anything. It was just that situation that I was like, damn go off i mean i guess part of it is my fault too for not making it known like that i spoke spanish even though i just wanted to get an easy a i don't know it was brief it was small it happened fast but the lesson is there hey it's a moment that stuck with me and now i'm sharing it with you guys you know so just be careful you just never know if you want to gossip in your language in your spanish in your english or whatever other language you speak about it, you just gotta be careful i don't know what happened miss crispy i haven't heard or spoken to her since hope she's doing well like i'm not standing here and like oh my god like I'm holding a grudge. You know, it's just like you just gotta be careful, you know, because you just never know. Simple. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want more, hit that like, hit that subscribe. You already know what to do with your boy here. And I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to stay golden. And I'm gonna leave now. I think I'm gonna go this way. I have another door here, so I'm going this way.